So for this problem, we're given the electric field at uh, certain distances from the center of this uh, object right here. And so we've got this cylinder that's in the middle here and uh, an outer shell. We're asked to find the linear charge density. Okay, well, um, let's figure out that. Okay, so if we're dealing with cylinders, remember that the electric field is supposed to be 2k lambda over r. So this is going to be an important equation that we're going to want to use. Now, we would expect uh, that that point at 7.7 .7 to be you know, one number. But for some reason, there's this discontinuity here, and we have sort of like an inner side to it. Um, we kind of refer to this as the inner side, and we can sort of refer to this side as the outer side, because as the radius, the radius is smaller here, that's on the inside, it'll be like this part, and then the outside is going to be this other part. So let's try to figure out what E of the N is going to be. It's uh, this. This is 1.3 E to the third and over C. And then we also know that the uh, the electric field on the outside is supposed to be negative um, 2.6 e to the third n over c. And didn't we know that we're supposed to sort of consider this as okay? Here's a here's a thing here, and uh, on the outside we have let's see negative 2.6, and on the inside we have 1.3. We're going to ask ourselves, okay, well what's blocking? Um, what's what's the difference between those two and um, we would figure out that uh, that outside surface there is going to have um, well you're going to need you know a negative three to go from here to there you kind of need a negative three right um, so outside minus inside is going to be negative 2.6 e to the third minus 1.3 e to the third and uh, that's just going to give us uh, negative 3.9 e to the third Newtons over coulombs. So this is going to be kind of the, the net electric field in that area. Now we can go ahead and plug that into this equation over here. So we'll say that uh, negative 3.9 e to the third is going to be equal to 2k lambda over r. And we know that r in this particular situation is supposed to be 7.7, .7, uh, 0.077 meters. And then we'll just multiply that out. And so we should get a number here, um, negative 3.9 e to the third times 0 0.077, and we're going to divide that by 2, and divide that by 9 e to the 9, and we should get our answer is lambda is equal to negative 1.67 e to the negative 8, and this is supposed to be coulombs over meters. Nice.